So we're interested in developing mathematical models that describe how fluids move in the subsurface. So uh, this could be oil and gas or groundwater. Um, basically any fluids that are uh, in the subsurface, if you put a well down there and you want to get drinking water out, um, you're going to move fluids through the subsurface and we develop mathematical models that describe how those transport processes occur. We actually uh, model the uh, transport phenomena from very small scales. So you can, actually, um, you can actually obtain images of what geologic materials look like at small scales using synchrotron uh, light sources. Basically what you get out of this is a three-dimensional image that shows you what the microstructure of a rock or a granular media uh, looks like at the small scale. And then we use those images to actually simulate what flow processes and other, other transport processes uh, could occur through those materials. These images are relatively large uh, and the materials are very complex. Uh, so we need a big supercomputer to run the simulations. Um, and typically we'll use anywhere between 100 or a few thousand compute nodes just to model the physics that's occurring in an individual image. Bulk of my production simulations have been performed on DOE's Titan supercomputer, um, which has K20 GPU, and we get a order of magnitude speed up from using the GPU relative to the CPU. Basically, we're scaling like memory bandwidth. Since you get better memory bandwidth on a GPU, uh, we can use all of it. So. Um, you know, basically it's a factor of 10, which is pretty significant for the calculations that we want to do. So I think that um, in part because these new image sources have only existed recently, um, we're moving towards, uh, I think, a situation where we can really resolve processes that happen in the Earth uh, much more accurately than we ever could before. We can get information that we couldn't get even 10 years ago. And so I think that any, uh, you know, any application that you know, sort of relies on these processes, which is really you know, very broad classes of processes, we should be able to advance fundamental understanding of all of them as a consequence of the work that we're doing.